Okay, we have your turn. Interesting integral from the Swinby 2018. This was problem 12. We have the integral of sinh of x over cosine cosh of x over sine squared cosh of x dx. Okay, to get started with this, the first thing I notice is just the fact that we have these kind of embedded trig functions that we don't really want. And since we have the same value here and here, let's try to clean this up with the u substitution. So I'm going to call my u equal to just cosh of x. We'll take a derivative, so then our du value here is just going to be sinh of x dx. And that seems like it's going to help us out, because we have our sinh x right here, and we have the dx right here. So we'll just go ahead with this. So first of all, in the numerator, we're going to have cosine. This is going to be just u. Then this and this is going to give me my du here. And then the denominator, this is just going to become sine squared of u. But now for this integral, I can actually rewrite this as cotangent times cosecant and finish it that way. But I think instead what I want to do is another substitution just because the derivative of sine is going to be cosine. So what if I do a second substitution, we'll say t equals sine of u, and then take this derivative dt is going to be cos of u. But then one quick note that we're doing two substitutions in a row, it makes me think we could have just rolled this all into one substitution. So if you see it in advance, you can actually just do one substitution but we'll get to that when we substitute back. So for now, let's just do this substitution. So what we're gonna have, this whole here thing here, I forgot my du over here. The whole numerator is just gonna be our dt value. And then this thing is gonna become t squared. But I can just write this as t to the minus two dt and use power rule on this. So integrating this, we just get minus one over t. And so now I just need the back substitute to finish this off, but let's try to do it so we don't have to back substitute twice. What I can do is take my u and back substitute it here first. So for our t value, I can actually write this as sine times cosh of x. And so it turns out if we just chose this substitution initially, it would have went a little quicker. We could have saved a step and just did one substitution. So now we'll just back substitute the t to finish it off. So for my final solution, we're just going to have minus 1 over sine cosh of x. Put a plus c, and that's it. So there you have it. Good quick problem from Swinby 2018. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.